Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about the functional interfaces and lambda expressions in Java 8. Functional interfaces are new additions in Java 8, which permits exactly one abstract method inside interface. These interfaces are also called single abstract method interface or SAM interface. These can be represented using lambda expressions, method reference and constructor reference as well. Java 8 introduces an annotation is called at the rate functional interface, which can be used for compiler level errors when interface you have annotated violates the contracts of contract of functional interface. You can think of it like at the rate override annotation which is in core java it's best practice to use it java.lang.runable with single abstract method that is called run is a great example of functional interface one of the major benefits of functional interface is the possibility to use lambda expressions to insta instantiate them we can instantiate an interface with anonymous class but the code you can see look like a bulky code like you can as we know that runnable interface is a only single method that is called override so you can implement a run method by using this anonymous class right so let's go to the eclipse and here uh, let's create a project uh, I would give you the name functional interface with lambda and I have Java 8 make sure that you have installed Java 8 because this is the feature of Java 8 click on finish and here is the project now let's create a class in package com dot info tech com dot info tech and class name I'm going to specify client test which will have main method and here I want to create thread using runnable interface and here we can create like new runnable Runnable is an interface, right? So we might create a separate class which will implement the runnable interface and you can create the runnable object and that runnable object you can pass to the thread constructor and uh, finally you can run the thread. So, but another approach is using anonymous class. So anonymous class you can create like this. Now you can store this in one of the variable is called R. and here you can have a your business logic here just I'm printing one statement something is called my task is executing right and this is your runnable object and this object you will have to pass in your thread constructor so let's create an object of thread now thread to new thread thread has a several constructor one of the constructor which which takes which ex accepts runnable object so this runnable object you can pass it over here and you can run this thread by calling the start method right if I run it then one thread will be spawned and run method uh, will be executed and we got the message like this if I go to the bean folder where you can find the uh, dot class file so sorry in this location basically Eclipse compiles this class and puts into the bean folder so let's go to that folder so bean folder if you can see in this package Eclipse has created two classes right two dot class file one is the client test dot class which is for this class and we have created an anonymous class like like this so 
Eclipse has just generated one more dot class file for internal class or anonymous class. And this code is looks very ugly, right? This so this here we have opportunity to convert this code uh, using lambda expression. So I will refactor this code. So refactor and extract method and sorry. Select this code and go to the refactor stack method and say create thread using or no anonymous class. Just I've refactored this code. Now I'm going to create another method and I would say create thread and I just I'm going to comment it <coughs> sorry so create thread using lambda lambda expression right let's create this method see here I will show you how to uh, create thread using lambda expressions if you comment this code and if you go to the bean food if you go to the, this package then classes which was generated for the anonymous class that gone away right if you uncomment this one then eclipse will again generate a uh, dot class file for anonymous class so look at here this so one extra file is getting generated in case of the anonymous class now let's copy this code and this code I want to convert into uh, using uh, lambda expressions so here uh, we have chance to convert this ugly code uh, which we have written using anonymous class uh, equ uh, equivalent functionality in lambda expression so here uh, what I will do uh, here what lambda expression says you don't need to write as we if you go to the functional in, uh, runnable interface this interface is declared as the functional interface and functional interface has the only one abstract method right so and that's why this interface very very well understand what the access is specifier of this method uh, what is the access modifier of this method and what's the return type and all and what's the method name and all so these things you can remove so this up to here if you up to here you don't require even method method name also you don't require so i am going to remove this method name as well and here you will have to give sorry sorry still we need to store these things in somewhere uh, in some local variable so you can remove these things uh, this bracket starts over here and closing here so you can remove this bracket as well and up to here I mean access modifier return type method name these things you can remove and after this method you can put a arrow sign which is called lambda expressions so this way your code is converted into lambda expressions right so this is the equivalent code of your lambda right so basically here just you are passing the behavior inside the inside the uh, here the, here you are just passing the behavior right In, instead of the uh, method implementation so this is the way to write lambda expression this is the one of the i mean uh, very first lambda expression we have written so lambda expression I am going to cover in in depth in next series of video tutorials so don't worry about the lambda expressions this video tutorial is dedicated to uh, learn uh, functional interfaces right if I run it so you will get the same output right and for this code uh, Eclipse will not generate any extra dot class file so look at here so there is two dot class file one for the client test dot clients uh, client test class another is for the, this anonymous class but there is no inner there is no 
uh, extra dot class file has been generated for this code. So that's the advantage of uh, lambda expressions. So now come to the this slide and we'll see the next things. So this ugly code you can convert in, into equivalent of lambda expressions. Since functional interfaces have only one method, lambda expressions can easily provide the method implementation implementation we just need to provide the method arguments and business logic so here uh, in this this method run method does not have any parameter if you does not uh, if any method accepts some parameter those parameter also you can pass up pass it over here and here we have only one statement so this curly bracket you can remove for example, you can write a web implementation using lambda expression like this. A new package java.util.function has been added with bunch of functional interfaces to provide target types for lambda expression and meta reference. So if I go to the package, uh, it's called uh, java.util.function. So if you can search uh, like this. Uh, you can press Ctrl Shift T and search for the consumer, one of the very famous class in java.util.function. So this is the class and this is the package java.util.function. So Java 8 uh, ha have been added lot of functional interfaces in this package. Each and every interfaces in this package is functional interface. If you go to the bike consumer then look at here, this interface is annotated as the at the rate functional interface, any interface if you go then all interfaces is annotated as the functional inter interfaces. It's not mean that Java engineers have added functional interfaces in this package only. There are many, uh, I mean, interfaces in different packages which has been added as a functional interface like this uh, class belongs from the Java dot lang dot, uh, Java dot lang package and this is a functional interface. If you go to the comparator and comparable, so, Press Ctrl Shift T to search any class from jar. So comparable and comparator you can open and these two interfaces is also a functional interfaces, right? This is a comparator and this is a functional interface. Even comparable is also a functional interfaces. So sometimes a interface does not annotate it with a functional interfaces, but any interface contains only one abstract method consider you can consider as a functional interfaces like in this case uh, this method has only one abstract method right so you can consider this method as a functional interface now that's all I wanted to show you in this video tutorial next video tutorial I'm going to cover some more stuff more some more concept on functional interfaces so please be with me over there and thank you for watching this video.